Intercession is never selfish. Never. Oh, can I tell you something shocking? You can supplicate for yourself, but you cannot intercede for yourself. Someone else has to intercede for you. Because intercession is selfless. It's not selfish. You can entreat the Lord. You can plead with him. But when it comes to interceding, someone else has to do it for you. Someone else has to join you. It's, not, it's never selfish. It's a selfless type of prayer. That goes beyond you. Even the Holy Ghost does not intercede for himself. He intercedes for the saints. Is Jesus in heaven interceding for himself? It's for all of us. That's intercession. You can long time and treat the Lord on a matter. You can seek the Lord on a matter. But when it comes to interceding on a matter, it's never selfish. It's, it's selfless. It's based on an information, a revelation. Something the Lord gives to you that others doesn't have. And because of that thing, you go to him on your knees in prayer. You don't intercede that God gives you power. That's not intercession. Oh, I need, let's intercede. We, we need more mantle of fire. That's not intercession. I make a request unto God. Meanwhile, when you begin to make requests unto him, he will check if that request is not coming from your own lustful desires. He say you ask and you do not receive because you ask and miss. You ask to spend on your lust. And when they say spend of from your lust, don't only think of car and house. People lost for power. People lost for influence. People lost for, for fame. So they keep making requests unto God, but it's not according to his will. I told you one day in Salem, I said the most important prayers to God are the selfless prayers. Because if we all start praying for ourselves, we'll become complete. The selfless prayer. James 4, 3. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask and miss, that ye may consume upon what is selfish. It's always geared around self, you know. It's very difficult not to be lustful if you are selfish. The anchor of lust is self. It's difficult for a selfless person to be a lustful person. It's hard. It's hard. If a person is sincerely selfless, it is difficult. That The anchor of the agape love of God is built on selflessness. The anchor of the lust of this world is built on selfishness. Go and look at all the lust of this world. Covetousness, self. Malice, self. Anger, itself. There's something that they did to you that you're angry. That thing they did to you, nobody's seeing it. You are the only one carrying it in your heart. So it's all about me, you know. If you want to grow in God, begin to think of others. That's, see, that's the way to deliver yourself. If you want to move in power, think of others. It was a greater love has no man than for him to lay his life down. That was the greatest love. Meanwhile, that's the law of alien to man. What do you think fornication is? Why do you think fornication is part of lust? You break the rule, you are lustful, and then you take a boy or a girl to fulfill your lust on her. And she is also fulfilling her lust on you.